What's going on guys, Dexter Morgan here coming back at you with another video and today we are finally doing that spending spree I've been talking a little bit about. I've been saying I was going to use my coins for a while now and finally today is that day. Obviously I have a ridiculous amount of coins as you can see up over there. It says 19.38 million. You guys want to know how I got my coins? A number of ways. Um, one, packs played a big role opening packs. Pulling really good players, making coins off of that. But mostly, it has been EA mistakes over the course of this year. When Team of the Week dropped and the pack odds were screwed and everyone was pulling 90 overall, Jack Doyles, and um, who was the other player at the time? I think it was Carlos Dunlap was also in that Team of the Week. So pack odds were crazy. So everyone was getting a 90 overall, sometimes both cards in the same pack. So the prices were super, super low and like EA definitely made a mistake. They're going to fix this really soon. So I bought up all the ones for like 100k and then resold for close to 400. And now, with Calvin Johnson, a similar thing has happened where Calvin Johnson was like 120 to 200k. I bought up a ton at that time and I've been reselling over the past uh, couple days since it happened. From between when it dropped, I was selling for close to 500k. And now it's been down to like 340 to, to 400 in that range. So I've been making a ton of coins doing that. I'm finally done. 19.38 million coins to build an absolute sick god squad i know team of the year is going to drop pretty soon we're going to have team of the year predictions coming out or maybe they already have at the time i upload this but yes insane spending spree coming insane team coming and uh, i'm going to build just a ridiculous god squad that i don't need at all and it's going to be insane it's going to be absolutely unreal strap in i think we're going to start out on the offensive line because it is an extremely important position in this game uh, running the ball is the name of the game in Madden 18, and you need a good line to run. So this is what range of left tackles we're looking at. And I have decided on going at left tackle, motivator, Donald Penn, 365. Is that the lowest? Yeah, that's the lowest. 365 for this Donald Penn. And this card is actually really good. But the main reason I went with him over a number of other players, even though he does have... 90 strength, 94 run block, which is fantastic. 91 pass block, 91 impact blocking. It's a motivator. He gets plus two to pass block for the rest of the team. So whether that's tight end, whether that's left guard, center, right guard, right tackle, fullback, running back, everyone's getting a pass block increase of two, which I think can be pretty important. So he's going to be my left tackle. At left guard, I wanted someone who's a little bit fast and uh, someone that can pull on run plays, someone that can run block. Someone that can pass block, obviously. Not going to be Bo Jackson. It's going to be Randall McDaniel. Going for a whopping 600k. And I am going to get his ground and pound version. Not sure I want to spend 680 on it, though. I might have to build this card. But Randall McDaniel will be my left guard. Looks like it's 675 for that version. I'm going to see what I can build it for, though. And then maybe we'll come back. I don't see that selling anytime soon. So we're going to move over to center. At center, you may have guessed I am going for another motivator. I think they're extremely important. And this is one that is boosting the run block in Marquise Pouncey, the Steelers Pro Bowl center. I'm not sure if he made the Pro Bowl this year out of the AFC. But he's been a Pro Bowler in the past, and he might, in fact, be one this year. 90 strength, 89 run block, 90 pass block, 90 impact blocking. But you have to consider that run block is going to be boosted up by um, 2 from his motivator, which puts him at a 91. And then pass block will be at a 92 because, of the, again, the motivator um, from Donald Penn. So motivators across the board, pretty much where I can get them. It's a really, really cool program. Got to have them in there. I had right guard for my needs. It was kind of difficult to find one uh, that I thought was going to be really good. I wanted someone with a little bit of speed, and no one really had that other than Larry Little. So he's going to insert into my team. I need the ground and pound version, or I'd want the ground and pound version. 92 run block, 88 pass block, 88 strength, 90 impact blocking. 67 speed is very good though, plus 10 from a lot of other guys. And of course, pass block is going to get boosted up to a 90. Um, and then run block is going to be at least, at least a 94. So awesome run blocking right guard to insert into my team. Wrapping things up on the offensive line, I know it's not a very exciting position group for a lot of guys, but it's going to be Dan Deerdorf, and I want his ground and pound version and there are none currently on the auction block. So I'm going to either build this or wait. But as you can see from the three players we've already got, this adds up to roughly 800k. 
just for three players in the offensive line. If I did my math correctly, what is that? It's about six, seven, eight. Yep, about 800k. And I still got to get Dan Deardorff and Randall McDaniel, which is going to cost me quite a lot. That's like another mill in itself. But I have the coins. I'm not too worried about it. Let's go ahead and put these guys in our team. I think I called it ground and pound earlier, but I need this Randall McDaniel with Pound the Rock. 680k. Gonna splurge and gonna buy it. That's a pretty big price for a left guard, but we have it. I'm not really too worried about it. 92 strength, 93 run blocks, gonna go up to 95. 94 pass blocks, gonna go up to at least, or it's gonna go up to 96. And then the run block chemistry with Pound the Rock is gonna go up even higher. Uh, probably like plus one or two at least. So uh, yeah, that's pretty good, pretty good buy for Randall McDaniel. Dan Deardorff is going to cost me 200k for that 91 overall version. So we're at 200 flat right now for Dan Deardorff, but obviously it's going to cost us more for the rest of them. 90 overall is going to cost us about 140, 140 on the nose, up to 340 for Dan Deardorff uh, so far. And the rest shouldn't really be all that expensive. Uh, I know it's pretty expensive so far, but the 87 really isn't going to be all that much. Probably in like the 40 or under. 23, one on the auction block. I will actually happily scoop that where someone else grabs it before me. So we are up to 363k for Dan Deardorff and probably about 20k overall for the rest of them, I'd hope. Um, all right, 20k for the 86, right on point. I think the other one's going to be around 20k as well. Maybe a little bit worse. So it's going to cost us overall about 400k for the ground and pound version. And he's basically the right, best right tackle in the game. He'll be a little bit less than 20. 11K. So about 400K for this Dan Deardorff, best right tackle in the game. We are, of course, going to get his ground and pound version, or pound the rock, excuse me. And Dan Deardorff, welcome to the team. Fantasy pack, of course, we are choosing ground and pound. Otherwise, this was a total waste of coins and time. So at left guard, in goes Randall McDaniel. Pretty big purchase. He's up to a 96 overall. And then a right tackle, of course. There goes Dan Deardorff. 95 overall. 93 overall Larry Little. 93 overall Marquise Pouncey. 96 overall Randall McDaniel. And 94 overall Donald. And I know Larry Little seems like the little guy on this O-line. Marquise Pouncey serves a purpose, obviously. But Larry Little, with these boosts, looks really, really good. He's got 95 run block, 90 pass block, 90 impact block, 88 strength, and he does have that speed that I was looking for at 67. So uh, on to move to the more glamorous positions at tight end. At the wide receiver, halfback, quarterback, fullback, etc. At tight end, we are going with the best tight end in the game. Uh, not by a country mile, but uh, probably in that range. Probably actually on the Chiefs. I think his card's on the Chiefs. Yes, and it's not Travis Kelsey. It is most feared, 94 overall, Tony Gonzalez. Here he is, going to cost us a blazing 420k to pick him up on the team. He's the best tight end of the game, and uh, I don't even think it's particularly close. 86 speed, 80 strength, 81 run block, 94 catching, or excuse me, 95 catching, 92 release, 93 route running, 94 catching traffic, and 93 spectacular catch at 6'5". Absolute monster, absolute beast. Very happy to add him. Also going to go over to tight end and pick up 78 overall. Dwayne Allen for chemistry. He will not play. But I would like the chemistry of the uh, times two to ground and pound that he adds. Or pound the rock. Why do I keep calling it ground and pound? So we're adding in Tony G at tight end. He goes up to a 95 overall with the current chemistries in place. His run blocking will go up. And we'll also go over to 78 overall Dwayne Allen. Get his times two to pound the rock, which I think is a little bit important at least. And he really won't play all that much, so it's fine that he sucks. Also, I seriously just spent, I know it's only 5.7k and I have it. Uh, I bought the wrong Dwayne Allen. I guess I figured they were only pound the rock. And uh, it's not only pound the rock chemistry Dwayne Allen. There's a number of chemistry Dwayne Allens. And I got the wrong one. I didn't look at all. I just assumed it'd be pound the rock because I was looking at Mudhead. Gonna cost us uh, 6.8k to get the right version, and we'll sell the other one back for maybe even 9k, maybe even more. All right, now we got the right guy in, boosting round and pound. I wonder if that's gonna boost the overall of Larry Little, Dan Deardorff, or Randall McDaniel at all, because it's only at tier um, tier two right now, and we should be able to get it at least to 
uh, tier three, which is gonna add run block. We're gonna work with the backfield first, and we're gonna start at fullback because that's a super glamorous position, right? And uh, I'm obsessed with these motivators. And even though fullback isn't a super important position, I'm fine with paying a premium price for a fullback that increases another attribute of my team. And that is going to be the trucking motivator. So 122k is going to get me 91 motivator Aaron Ripkowski. He's not going to play all that much, but he is really good when he does play. 86 run block, 88 trucking. He's also got 80 speed. 75 catching is pretty bad, but 88 stiff arm, 86 carrying. Like, he's a really good fullback. And he gives plus two to trucking for the team. So he'll have, what, 90 trucking? Did he have 88? Yeah, he'll have 90 trucking. He'll also help, uh, help out my halfback, whoever that might be. My quarterback, by the way, is going to be a left-handed quarterback. I'm trying him out. It's going to be Michael Vick. He was one of my favorite players in the NFL uh, when I was growing up. And not that I'm still not growing up, but I'm, I'm an adult now. I am 37. And Michael Vick, you know, was so awesome. And even though he is a lefty, it's still a really good card. 92 speed, 94 throw power. Going to be a really fun card to use. We'll just have to adapt to the lefty quarterback aspect of it. But other than that, I mean, I'm super excited to use that card. At running back, I am going for the best running back in the game. I would say by a country mile because he can do it all. He can spin you out, juke you out run right over you or run right by you and that is going to be Bo Jackson for a blazing 420k adding to our total we're down to 16.2 mil but he is worth every penny 94 speed 94 agility 95 acceleration 93 carrying 93 spin move 90 elusiveness 96 truck and 96 juke move he is unbelievable unbelievable you could say oh sh oh boy the kids got jokes huh now I'm gonna add the backfield in quarterback that's going to be 93 overall Mike Vick of course and um actually we'll do a backup quarterback too for like snaps and stuff we might do LaDainian Tomlinson for speed um now nah, let's do it 93 Marcus Mariota that's a fun one but what about running back I got a good backup too I know you probably could say just start LaDainian Tomlinson that's all well and good I want Bo because Bo knows running back number two that's going to be LaDainian Tomlinson though because he's just unfair in this game. And then my favorite player in NFL history, 93, Adrian Peterson. He actually will see the field quite a bit because I'm going to get him involved uh, in another aspect, which you guys will soon find out. But then fullback is, of course, going to be Aaron Ripkowski, plus two trucking for the team, making Bo Jackson even better than he was before. 99 trucking. That's so crazy. Now for the wide receivers. We're going to need some good ones. We need Michael Vick to have some targets. We're going to have all the time in the world to throw to, uh, to them with our offensive line, though. Let's get some sick receivers in. Wide receiver number one really shouldn't come as much of a surprise. It's going to be Snow Beast Calvin Johnson. 540K for the 6'5 Beast out of Georgia Tech. Of course, the Detroit Lions. 93 speed, 95 catching, 93 looseness. 97 spectacular catch, 94 release, 92 route running, 92 catching traffic, and 97 jumping at 6'5". He is so, so good. Best receiver in the game, and he is now on the squad. Let's talk about another one of the most physically gifted receivers of all time. That's going to be Randy Moss. 94 overall Randy Moss. Most feared for 525k. Also has the go deep chemistry. And he is worth every bit. He's also insane. 6'4", 94 speed, 93 catching, 90 elusiveness. 95 spectacular catch, 94 release, 93 route running, 88 catch traffic with 95 jumping again at 6'4". He will be a pretty good pairing with Calvin Johnson, even though their run blocking isn't the best. Let's talk about someone who does have a little bit better run blocking for some reason. And that's going to be Odell Beckham Jr. He's actually a ridiculous price right now. There's only two on the block. And I'm not going to spend 700k. But I really want Odell. I'm a Giants fan. He's one of my favorite players in the league. I would like him on the team. But wide receiver four is going to be Deion Sanders. I know it's crazy. Why am I spending 615k for a fourth receiver? Well, he's going to play a decent bit. But he's also going to be my return man. He also adds to blanket coverage. Which maybe could impact something later on. I'm not sure. Uh, but he, that chem's not going to get active for him. Um... But 374 in the entire game. We're getting the 190 version. 94 speed, 90 catching, 95 elusive is 94 spectacular catch, 86 release, 
92 route running, 87 catch driving, and 95 jumping. But again, he's going to be my, my return man. Really cool card. Wanted to get him on the team. Wide receiver number one, obviously, Calvin. I really want Odell Beckham Jr. Like, I'm really pissed I don't have him right now. He goes up to a 97 overall on the team. I guess that might be run blocking. Another good reason why uh, why we got that motivator to increase run blocking with uh, more keys pouncy. Helps out the wide receivers that can't run block particularly well. Obviously, I want Odell here, but I can't put him in right now because uh, I'm not going to spend 700k for that card when he doesn't go for that. And 93, Deion Sanders. Probably spent a little bit much on him um, as he doesn't really like <laughs> even play all that much. And then we're going to have 91, Stefan Diggs at wide receiver number 5. But Deion Sanders is really valuable, valuable to me. And I have the coins. Why not splurge, right? We're going to start out in the secondary. I do have a number of players that are making it in no matter what. At free safety, it's going to be power up Earl Thomas, my second favorite player in the NFL. Got to have him in there. And then at strong safety, another one of my favorite players in the NFL in Landing Collins. I like to do the power up sets for players that I know I really, really like. And I'm going to use year round. So Darius Slay is going to go in there at cornerback number one. And then at cornerback number four for my 4-6 speed package, it's 91, free safety Calvin, the user in the box. <laughs> like, that's ridiculous. Let's go find a third, second, and fifth cornerback to complete our secondary. At cornerback number two, this was a last second change, and it's one that I'm actually fairly pleased with. It is a big baller move, but we're doing it. We're going for it. We have the coins. We're going to spend them. We, by the way, is me, in case you're confused. 1.02 mil. I am buying 95 Rod Woodson. I know that's a ton to spend. One mil for one player. But it's a limited time beast. Snow beast, that is. Rod Woodson, pick specials on him. Times two to read and react. 95 speed, 96 acceleration, 96 agility, 94 man, 93 zone, 83 press, 90 play rec. 81 catching i mean he's got some of the most uh interception returns for touchdowns in nfl history hopefully he's going to be just as big of a playmaker absolute beast felt like doing it rod woodson uh, one mil though that is a uh, that is a steep price to pay my next cornerback is going to be very very expensive as well and that is the blitz night train aka dick lane 717k Limited to about 5,200 cards. 93 speed, 95 acceleration, 92 agility, 90 man, 94 zone, 92 press. He's going to play really, really well in the nickel. 91 play rack and 80 catching as well. Because he can hit, and he can hit very, very hard. 85 tackle, 94 jumping I mentioned. Um, 82 block shed. He's going to be really, really good in the nickel. And 92 hit power with that 92 press. Perfect nickel cornerback. And actually, Rod Woodson has a decent amount of hit power as well. What is Rod Woodson's hit power in block shed? I don't know if block shed's going to be that high, but hit power definitely will be. He has 87 tackle, which is really, really high. Um, his block shedding is 77, which is good. And his hit power is an 85. Really, really solid player. And my cornerback number five is going to be one that can come in and play good zone coverage. He might get burned from time to time. Actually, I was thinking it was going to be 91 Terrence Newman, but this 90 Paul Krause, I already have it. And he does have 91 zone. He is 6'3". I'm actually going to put Paul Krause in there. Scratch that idea that I previously had. Cornerback number two, throwing in Rod Woodson. And then, of course, Dick Lane will play quite a lot. He's currently going to go right into the nickel package. And uh, should be fantastic in that role. He's got speed, but he's also a phenomenal, phenomenal hitter, tackler, block shedder. Cornerback number four we know is Calvin Johnson. And then cornerback number five, I think is going to be this Paul Krause. Now I could throw in Champ Bailey. I'm actually going to throw in Champ Bailey. Champ Bailey is my uh, second favorite player in NFL history. It was Mike Vick for a while, but Champ Bailey was right. I mean, I got to make a list. People have been asking me to make a list so everyone knows. Um, I will eventually do that, I think, for a video. You guys let me know if you want to see that. But Champ Bailey is going in at CB5. If you get a better card, I put it in. But I'm building a god squad right now. Free safety. I'm going to do a backup to Earl Thomas. One for special teams and occasionally to come in if we need him. And um, don't really care too much about the chemistry. We're just going to go read and react. So we get a boost to 90 zone for Steve Atwater when he's in. But primarily going to be a special teams monster with 87 speed, 92 hit power. 
he should be really, really good there. And he doesn't really even cost that much. 67K, we bought him for 69, partly for the lulls, but also for the chemistry. He's really good. And my backup strong safety is going to be one that I know is super, super good. Played really, really well for me when I had him. And that's going to be Ed Reed. 91 Ed Reed, 150K for a backup. I know, crazy. I have the coins. I'm going to spend them frivolously. 91 Ed Reed, 91 speed, 90 zone, 86 hit power. When he gets in, he's going to have 91 zone if he plays on the field. Uh, but I like on defense, special teams, he give me a monster. So, got to have players that can make plays, jar the ball loose at any time, get down the field quickly. Ed Reed is just that. I would have run this free safety, haha, -ha Clinton Dix, but he's just trash. Uh, and I want Steve Atwater. We'll get haha, -ha Clinton Dix maybe at free safety number three. Because, you know, I mean. I want to run players I like at the end of the day. I'm not a huge Ha Ha Clinton Dix fan. That doesn't mean I don't like him. I'm just not a huge fan of his. Um, decent card. If he gets in there on special teams as well, he should be okay. And then backup strong safety, of course, is this Ed Reed. He was so, so good for me when I had him before I did the uh, boost Atlanta Collins. But we throw him in. Do I have a backup strong safety that's untradeable? Derek Brooks. Might as well toss him in there. All right, what should we do first? Linebackers or defensive line? I think we're going to do linebackers. At right outside linebacker, I think this is a fairly obvious pick that I'm going for here. But I am going for Lawrence Taylor, LT, the real, the first. The best defensive player in NFL history. You can disagree, but you'd be wrong. Absolute monster. Let's go with the chemistry I want. Might as well boost Lar uh, should be Lawrence. Lawrence Taylor's block shed 500k for this version which is, uh, of course, uh, defensive, defensive front, physical front. I forgot. 88 speed, 92 strength, 94 tackle, 90 play rec, 92 block shed. That's going to get boosted a ton. 94 power move, 90 finesse move, 95 hit power. He's got 76 catching. He can drop back into coverage. He's got 86 jumping. His zone coverage isn't even that bad. It's a 79. That's going to get boosted because of, uh, because of nothing, actually. I got a different version. All right. But, um, yeah, set card. Really happy to add him to the team. At middle linebacker, I'm going for an absolute beast, and that is one of the most dangerous players in NFL history, if you account for the fact that he's murdered two people, allegedly. 500K for Ray Lewis. He's going to be a presence on this defense, shutting down and stabbing any run that comes into his way. 88 speed, 94 hit power, 95 block shed, 83 zone, 95 pursuit. I can user him, though, which is something that's pretty good with that 88 speed. He can hit. He's decently tall. Uh, 65 catching is poor, but, I mean, if you use her and you have your good time, he's going to be fine. Looks like I'm a Ravens fan, right? But uh, I'm going with another Ravens player. Middle linebacker, C.J. Mosley. reason I'm going for him is uh, he's not going to play particularly much in the packages that I run, and he does add to pursuit. It's not crazy. Pursuit isn't really all that useful, uh, but it is a cool boost to have just because 83 speed 84 zone 89 hit power 91 block shed is great 92 pursuit 93 tackle again not going to play all that much but when he does he's going to be viable left outside linebacker i'm going with one of the best at the position that we've seen he is expensive 575k hopefully will be worth every penny it's motivator von miller 93 overall 85 speed 94 block shed, 90 power move, 94 finesse move, 93 power with 85 speed, 92 tackle. He's fantastic. And uh, he adds plus two to block shed for the team. So when he gets on the field, and even when he's not on the field, he's making a difference. He'll be awesome. Right outside linebacker, we're putting in Lawrence Taylor. Also going to get a backup in there. And that's going to be a card that I got for completing the Calvin on day one. I didn't mention it earlier, but I did the Calvin set day one. Sold him for 1.1 mil. And now we're buying him back for 530 or whatever it was. So I got some of these untradeable guys. I made a ton of coins on that as well. Left outside linebacker is going to be Von Miller. You guys know that. I don't really know if I have a backup to put in, but I'll just add him in probably off camera. But in go the linebackers. The overalls are going to be boosted with uh, with that block shedding boost. And uh, maybe with the pursuit boost even too. I don't know. All right. Now to finish the team off essentially with the D-line. We do have special teams and all that, but... This is the meat and potatoes of the squad right here. Finished. Defensive line. Here we come. Still got to grab Odell. We're going under 10 mil. I can guarantee you that. Right end is going to be 94 overall Bruce Smith. 
saw this and I'm buying quickly because when I pulled this Bruce Smith, I sold it for more. I got even after tax 500 some K for it after what I sold it for. So buying them back for less than I got after. So, you know, made profit on getting this card back and it's a very good card. 84 speed, 88 tackle, 94 strength, 89 acceleration, 89 block shedding, 95 power move, 93 finesse move, and that block shed will be boosted substantially. Now, I do need a lot of backups because of how often um, I send pressure and I do play an aggressive pass rush a decent percent of the time. So we are going to be getting some backups for the first defensive tackle I'm getting is John Randall. And where is John Randall? I don't have his uh, physical front version. Am I going to have to build this card? Appears that I might. My next defensive lineman, defensive tackle, is going to be Aaron Donald. 93 overall Aaron Donald. He might get a team of the year. I think that's not... I mean, it, it's likely. Uh, but it's not guaranteed, obviously. Really, really good card. 81 speed, 92 strength, 90 tackle, 90 block shed, 92 power move, 83 finesse move, 87 uh, play rec, 87 pursuit. All those are going to get boosted, I think. So, I mean, we're in business. All right, I did the math on John Randall, and um, we'll be able to buy every single card. And it is expensive. It's going to be over 500k, uh, but not too much, not too bad. And we will add him to the squad. Because with the, the guy like John Randall, whose block shed is a little bit lower, uh, I do like finesse move better than power move in this game. He is a phenomenal finesse move pass rusher. I figured it is super important to get the version that I want to get the best performance out of John Randall. One of the best undrafted players in NFL history. Hall of Famer. I mean, he's an absolute beast. But it is important to get him playing exactly how I want him to play. Need his block shed to be boosted. I need the correct version. Gotta go physical front for John Randall. So we have completed this card. Um, for over 500k, I forget what it's going to cost me in total. Probably close to 600. But he is the best defensive tackle in the game. We have the coins. It's not the worst thing. And here he is. 95 physical front John Randall. I chose that card really quickly. There it is. We got the right version though. But I did tell you guys it is important for backups to be on the team when you're running... Pass rush aggressive like I do. So I'm getting mean Joe Green. I'm going to get the uh, the one that boosts the block shed. Why not? Mean Joe Green for whatever price that just was. Physical front. 75 speed, 93 block shed, 91 power move, uh, 90 play rec. I mean, that's pretty much all you care about. Not play rec necessarily. 92 tackle, 92 strength. Very, very good card. He's going to be my defensive tackle three. And he is an expensive defensive tackle three. But he will see the field a decent bit. That's about 260 to pick him up. At left end, going with one of my favorite players in the NFL currently, and that is the sack attack from the silver and black, Khalil Mack. 400K to bring him onto the team, racking up sacks for us. 85 speed, 93 tackle, 92 block shed, 89 power move, 93 finesse move, 85 speed if I already didn't say that. Such a, such a sick card. Really excited to get him on the team. And the last player, going to be another favorite of mine, and that is Olivier Vernon, the New York Giants. 100, 155K to get him on the team. And he will be a backup right end. And again, we'll play a decent bit. He checks off all the boxes, though, in terms of block shedding, power move, um, getting to the quarterback, stopping the run. 77 speed isn't really all that bad either. Definitely a top team in the game we've managed to build, uh, to build for the price. I mean, it, it obviously was expensive. Spent a lot of coins, well over 10 mil so far. Uh, well, not well over 10 mil, but decently over 10 mil. But it is, it, it is a sick team. I mean, I'm going to lose because I'm still bad, but I won't really have any excuse because of how uh, bad my team is. This is an insane team. It's like unfair how good this team is. John Randall goes in. AD goes in. It's an unbelievable set of players. Khalil Mack goes in. My backup left end, by the way, is going to be 90 overall. Reggie White, the Minister of Defense. He's going to go ahead and slot in there. And um, defensive tackle number three, of course, Mean Joe. Mean Joe Green stats <laughs> goes up to 97 block shed with all the boosts. That's so crazy. I wanted a backup left outside linebacker as well, and I decided to go with Charles Haley, 155K. Uh, if I didn't have this, it'd be, it'd be bad buy, but, you know, I have the coins. 86 speed. 92 block shed, 92 power move, 89 hit power. Bunch of those stats can be get boosted. I got physical front again. We want that block shed to get boosted. 
He's going to be good on special teams. He'll be good when he comes in for tired Von Miller, potentially. I mean, this team is built to get after the quarterback. It's built to pick off the quarterback. It's built to stop the run. It's built to go deep down the field. I mean, this is such a stellar group of players. And uh, maybe I could even use a defensive tackle number four. Someone even, like, not too good, but also, like, decently good. All right, this is the defense built. It's so good. Dale Buchanan's in there at middle linebacker number three as well. D-line is just ridiculous looking, but so is the secondary. Offense is really nice. I still need to buy Odell Beckham Jr. I will, but time for everyone's favorite, the specialist, kicker, punter, kick returner. We already know it's going to be Dion. And for kicker and punter, I mean, if you know me, you pretty much already knew who I was going with. We're going for the beast that is Marquette King, 90 kick accuracy, 92 kick power, 82 speed on this card, or 90 kick power, 92 kick accuracy, 82 speed on that card. Uh, and of course, at kicker, this one is very obvious if you're a fan of the channel and, uh, and know me very well. It's going to be the former Texas Longhorn, great. He's not on the auction block. All right, we're going with the, uh, the 89 version then. Where's Justin Tucker? Is he a 90? Where's Justin Tucker? Justin Tucker is a 90. 209K for the former Texas Longhorn. Hook him horns. And he is going to essentially complete the squad. In goes Marquette King at punter. Subsequently, in goes Justin Tucker at kicker. And then, uh, I don't even know how I want to do this. Long snapper can be whoever. It doesn't really matter. We'll go Randall McDaniel. Why not? At third down running back, I probably want to go LaDainian Tomlinson. So we're going to throw him in there. And then uh, AP can be uh, third down running back number two. Not that it matters. Um, that's pretty much obvious. Pretty much going to go in there anyway. Even if I didn't put that in there, probably would have. Kickoff specialist is going to be Marquette King. He's got the speed. So that's pretty valuable there. And then kick returner and punt returner. You guys already know that 95 Dion is going to be uh, doing our kick returning and punt returning duties. We could get Rod Woodson out there. Really good player to do so. But my backup kick returner is not going to be Rod Woodson. It's going to be a player that doesn't have a particularly high kick return rating. But one that I think will do the job. It's going to be Adrian Peterson returning kicks. I mean, why not? His speed isn't blazing. But he's got... Uh, where's trucking? Why is it not listed here? I guess it's not really that important of a position when you're talking about return men. But we're going to give it a shot. I want to get my favorite player in NFL history sometime. He's got 97 trucking with all the boosts active. Why not put him back there and see what damage he can do? It's a 94 overall team costing, looks like, about 11 mil. So we're going to call it a 10 million coin spanning spree again. What a squad. I still got to get Odell. It's going to be even more expensive. All right, now there's a few more Odells up. 416 is going to get it done. Welcome to the team as we're ending the spanning spree off at 7.5 mil. But we are done. It is a 94 overall team. And it is a sick one. I swear if it goes down because of Odell. It won't, though. He's a 93 overall. He might go up to a 94 uh, because of all the boosts with run blocking and go deep. I don't know if that's going to be active now. It might be. Yeah, we're going to stay at a 94 overall. Odell goes up to a 94. Absolutely sick team. Wide receiver 6. I mean, why not put somebody in there? Let's go with the six foot eight beast that is Harold Carmichael. That is the team. Gameplay will be coming out shortly. And, uh, yeah, God Squad is going to remain this way for a little while until Team of the Year, in which case it will be revamped a decent bit, I can only guess. This shit don't run well.